Mercury turns retrograde in Leo from today till 28th or preferably 29th of August 2024. How can we make the best use of this transit? As you know, Mercury retrograde periods are always intense and filled with surprises, right? In a good or in a bad way. All right, so 10 things to do during this Mercury retrograde, but in Leo, right? Not just Mercury retrograde, all right? So, the first thing you can do is reflect on your communication because Mercury is the Karka for communication and also Leo also shows, you know, creativity, creative self-expression. So, it has a communication angle, okay? Leo shows the way you put yourself out in this world. So, how do you do that? Mostly by communicating, right? So, you either write or you uh, speak or you punch somebody. <laughs> Don't punch anyone. But in general... Leo shows how you present yourself to everybody else because it's like the sun is shining, okay? So, uh, since Mercury also rules communication, so it's time that you reflect on how you are communicating. Maybe you need to change some strategy, especially if you are in social media or in general, if you are in corporate and, you know, you are trying your best to get a promotion and you know, things are not working, maybe you need to change some strategy, okay? So, reassess your communication, Number two, very important, revisit your creative projects, okay? Leo is a very creative and expressive sign. So, therefore, if you had any old artistic projects that you were involved with and now due to some reason you are not involved with, maybe it's a time to start them again. It's a very good time to <laughs> complete things which were left incomplete, okay? And uh, this is a great time not just to complete them but also to refine them. So, if there is something in your life which needs further refinement, any area of life, you know, your health, your appearance, your looks, your wealth, your career, your relationships, marriage, children, anything in your life which requires refinement, this is the best time to do that, okay? Number three, very important, you need to reassess your creative style, but more importantly, your leadership style, sorry, okay? So, creativity is point number two, number three is leadership style, so... Leo is, Leo's energy is all about, you know, creativity, uh, leadership and and um, uh, showing to the world, you know, how you can lead others, okay? So, therefore, if you are in a leadership role and uh, things are not working somehow, then it's a great time you assess and, you know, you see how you can lead others, manage others and consider any changes or improvements if required. Number four, Leo also shows... Uh, creativity and leadership but along with it it also shows you know it can show things which are trending also like for example uh, fancy electronic gadgets okay that's like a combination of Taurus, Leo, Venus and all this okay anything that people are talking discussing that that's like the energy of Leo so if you have some trendy gadgets or you know you have some maintenance uh, if you have some you know, specific electronics then uh, yeah but there could be some glitches so check your mic <laughs> and if you are about to make any long recording, then yeah, make sure the switch is on, all right? Otherwise, you speak for two hours and then you realize, oh, my, uh, yeah, my, uh, it, it was never recording, right? <laughs> Frustrating experience. So uh, then also you could, if you have some very important, very crucial data, which you have to deal with and take double backups, okay? Not just single double backups, okay? So, if you do this, then it will be good for you because you will be safe, okay? And number five, of course, Leo shows things that you do without any uh, without any push, basically. So, and one of the things is, you know, friendship. So, Mercury Retrograde in general helps you reconnect with old friends, but now specifically, because it's Leo, so you can reconnect with old friends. You know, this can bring many people back from your past, past lifetimes <laughs> or from this life. So reconnect back to the old friends, colleagues and rekindle meaningful connections. Okay, very important. Number six, this is classic Mercury retrograde. Please avoid making big purchases. Okay, like, you know, car and Leo can show something which is very big or very grand. Okay, it's like something which you do because you want to show off. Okay, so... Now, try to avoid signing new contracts, you know, making significant purchases like home or car, you know, or big electronics, you know. <clears throat> no, yeah, unless you are like 
1000% sure, you know, you need to do this and yeah, otherwise it could backfire or even if you have to travel somewhere, even if you have to book the tickets, you book it, but try to reach early. Okay. Don't, don't get it neck to neck. Like, you know, okay. Suppose you have to book two train connections. Make sure there's a gap of one or two hours, at least in between. Don't book two trains with 15 minutes gap. Please don't do that. Okay. You could land into trouble. Now, number seven is you need to exercise some patience also. Okay. Because Mercury retrograde can test your patience. And especially if it is in a sign like Leo, it can make you very impatient because Leo is the sign of the king. It's the sun, right? The sun, it's like the king wants everything immediately, right? Uh, the king orders, the king is authoritative, okay? So there could be delays in any plans that you make, you know, not just travel or, you know, tickets or visa or, you know, anything, you know, you just... Uh, Somebody committed something to you and then they're like, oh, never ending delays. Okay, so and things don't seem to get done. Okay, so if this is happening with you, then uh, maybe it's a time you sit down and meditate. Okay. <clears throat> now, number eight, you need to focus on self-expression. Okay, this is not just communication. You need to focus on self-expression. So how do you express yourself apart from your communication? You no, know, it could be, you know, your gestures, like, you know, physical gestures or any form of uh, creative thing that you do for yourself or for others, okay? So anything that you do to explore yourself, that is something which is very important. So, for example, you know, maybe you can uh, do some journaling, okay? Make notes in regards to your schedule and in regards to your ideals and your thought processes. And that's how you will actually be able to have more control over yourself. Because if you don't express yourself properly, then you might uh, lose control over yourself sometimes, okay? And number nine, Mercury is the guard of finances. And Leo shows you know, long-term wealth. So as you might have seen today, uh, there's this news from Japan, you know, uh, they have increased the uh, interest rates, uh, and, you know, the whole stock market has collapsed, uh, not only for Japan, you know, India, US, you know, most of the uh, Bitcoin is down and I mean, everything is just crashing. Maybe in US there's a recess recession. So these stocks have started surfacing, okay, like today morning. So because today morning uh, Mercury went retrograde, so you can always see this, okay, it's not a good time for the world financially. And the month of August is likely to remain uh, yeah, it's likely to remain difficult, okay? So, if you have money which you have put in risky assets, you might lose everything. So, I'm giving the warning, please, please be careful with your money, okay? Don't put it into things or, you know, you see a new fancy bank and they say, oh, we give you like, you know, this person interest, double what others give. The bank might close down, okay? So, now I'm not trying to create fear, but I'm trying to caution you Unless you have put things in very secure assets, you might need to worry, all right? And last but not the least, you should do things which is important for your self-improvement. So like point number eight, you know, this is very similar. Like you should do things which make you a better person. Okay, so Mercury retrograde is a way, uh, is a period when you can actually see what are you doing in this world, what's your larger vision, you will rethink on your decisions, communication, creativity, leadership, and everything that makes you a better person, everything that gives you growth. So whatever gives you growth, you know, financially, intellectually, mentally, physically, spiritually, socially, psychologically, physiologically, okay, psychophysically also. So try to do what is required and I'm sure you will make the best use of this murky retrograde in Leo. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and for consultations you will find my website below. Take care. Jai Siaram.